Well, hey there. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering after my video last week, did I find a place to stay? And, uh, well, this is the farm with the good food. And, uh, that's the city of Red Deer in the background there. This is my office for the next couple weeks, and uh, then uh, probably I'll be coming back uh, after a detour to another farm. So not the, not the one farm, next farm situation that I was expecting, and uh, definitely not accommodations like I'm used to, but I'm pretty well set up. I mean, check this tent out. I can make a movie in here. So the farm with the good food is a cattle farm, and I'm a lifelong vegetarian. So as you can imagine, there was a little bit of a negotiation um, for me to be here. Um, they were definitely not sure if they wanted a vegetarian around on the farm. And um, I guess I don't know much about cattle. Um, so I'm here to learn. And uh, yesterday I had the second hamburger of my life. And I'm happy to say it was much, much better than the first hamburger of my life, which was mostly raw in Hong Kong. But I think as a vegetarian, I don't think I'm going to turn into a carnivore, but I'm here to learn. So I'm going to be trying bits and pieces and see, see what it's like. I think that's only fair. Um, so it'll be an interesting uh, few weeks for me. I'll be trying a lot of new things, learning a lot. I've never been an animal person and we've got cows and chickens and pigs and horses and, uh, you know, farm animals. So I've got a lot to learn. My, this is going to be pushing my boundaries more than anything else. Anyway, so the uh, very first day I was here, I went for a walk to explore this uh, pasture. And um, I had another animal experience. Um, I was just uh, walking back to the farm and I saw my first fox. It looked kind of like a coyote, but it was a little bit smaller, sleeker, and it was a fox. And uh, Susan, who's the farmer here, she was walking in the other direction. She was walking towards me and we cornered this fox between us. And uh, of course they have chickens, so she was very worried that this fox was hunting. We didn't manage to find it. It scooted off in that direction. Um, I mean, I say that, we did find it. We found it two days later in uh, this calving shed. And um, looks like it could have used a chicken because uh, it passed away. And. Uh, I mean, I guess that's what part of what I'll be learning while I'm here is, you know, all of these are living beings. The cows we're raising, the horses, every, everything is a living being. Um, and uh, I don't think I'm going to see a slaughter, but uh, that's going to be part of the farm too. Death is part of a farm. We've lost a chicken while I was here. Obviously this fox didn't survive, but, uh, you know, maybe they're not so unhappy about that. But uh, this is the other half of farming. Um, Plants eat animals, animals eat plants, and that whole nutrition cycle is part of where food comes from. And, uh, well, here I am to see the other half. Anyway, um, yeah, if you want to see what I learn, a vegetarian on a beef farm, um, tune in the next few weeks. Uh, I'll be posting weekly to YouTube on my channel here. Um, you can follow the project on Facebook and Instagram. It's the hands that feed us. Um, and, uh, of course, if you want to follow the documentary project, it's thehandsthatfeedus.ca, and there's a newsletter you can sign up for. So, see you next week.